friends, welcome to the garage. Early on in my woodworking career, I realized that jigs play a very important role. But alas, my problem was that jigs sometimes were more complicated to build than what you were going to, to use the jig to build. So, and also if you are working in a small space like garage, like I do, having three or four or five jigs that they are essentially the same simply takes too much space so I start thinking and this is just a pr proof of concept how can I combine jigs to do more than one thing when I need them and especially for example if you happen not to have a miter saw or any other way to make 45s you will need to make a jig on your table saw or slide so here what uh, I have done to accomplish this So these are not screws, they're actually nuts, but we are going to drill them into this wood and that will provide a better control of our removing it. Now we're using two per side because we do not want this to move. And again, we could use screws here, but I prefer nuts because they it will take some time if you use hardwood. For this to need to be replaced. and it is clear underneath, it doesn't create any, any problems again I will show you here the whole process we simply make sure that we are centered there and that our Again, I'm sorry, I... You can, of course, use more than two bolts. and So you will see these are the bolts I'm using. I'm not using screws. And again, you can use more than two, but I don't think there's need for more than two. And now we have a multi-purpose saw. In this configuration, we can cut ankles both inside and outside. And I'm going to show you how I did it. But I, I simply made sure that we have a perfect 45 there. And you can see it on the saw. And then, using simply bolts without nuts underneath or anything else, just the bolts, and I used to so you can see this this doesn't go anywhere this is very steady so as you can see this is in essence a sled and most of the 45 cutting jigs are sleds but then because they have a permanently attached device on them you need two of them with my solution you only need one of them and I will show you some other differences I have in mind so let me show you how easy and quick it is to transform this back to a jig. You simply take the bolts off
and for ease of reattachment I'm simply marking two lines here you don't have to do that but it just makes things easier and now we are back into a normal slide now you're going to notice a couple of differences with my slide first of all I have the riding knife left on instead of removing it and that is to help me being even more safe even, uh, even with a jig and I want to show you a couple of different things that I have done in my sled here first of all my runners are actually metal not pieces of wood and I did that because my table is metal metal is a little more stable and it doesn't wear over time and this is something we're going, you're going to be moving back and forward into the two slides a lot I believe that this will give you much more longevity and I think when I finish with my, my proof of concept ideas I'm going to build a better one and show you step by step how everything is built because my idea is to be build one jig for the table saw that replaces all other jigs that you might have so this is the beginning I use much thinner plywood than other people do because really I don't want to lose all that much of my blade width I think that, that is a total waste and I want to show you how easy this how easy this goes back in there you go now let me take you a little closer to show you hopefully you can see the the lines that I have drawn that they are used as the guys to make this jig into a 45 degree cutting angle jig so it will be easier if you have the blade out because we use the blade to actually center it and then we go that's the wrong one something I didn't do that it's a good idea now that I think about it is to delineate the side so this is my left one and right left because the screws were just done visually so there is no they are not in, in the same pattern of both sides that simply we're back in the other configuration it takes but moments to do this and if you use your lines you won't miss again this is a concept a proof of concept so it is not perfected but the wood I'm using I will be using the final product will be a hardwood this is a soft wood and you notice now that I use my lines correctly this was very easy to put back in place so there you go and let me take you a little closer to see more detail and see how easy that is now this protrudes behind the sled and actually makes the sled even stronger you could potentially put even a third screw there and I will probably do that in order to make this whole jig even more rigid as, than it is now and I think I'm going to actually do that so it always stays closed and you see how tight that is this is a very good jig the angle is perfect 
and it is a good idea because I think it improves on a, a, a jig that you should have especially if you don't have a lot of tools alright friends I hope you enjoyed this short video this is the beginning of what I want to call the Swiss Army Jig Project now we have a two-in-one jig that is very useful as it is but I plan to continue expanding its use and ultimately make it a multi-purpose jig that even the beginner woodworker can build. If you did like today's videos and you did like this idea, please smash the like button. If you didn't, the other button works as well. Subscribe, share and like our videos to continue the growth of our channel. And please comment below with any questions you have or any suggestions. I appreciate your support and I will see you Sunday with another build video.